filming. <laughs> What is this? A Thursday. It's YouTube day. These are my filming days now. And I have to say, it's a little crazy. I have kids here. I have my husband here. Everybody's here all the time. And it's a lot. Today, I'm going to film my video, but I'm just going to film it a little bit more organically, maybe vlog style, if you want to call it that, where I just shoot something instead of doing the very stylized video. So this is going to be a little bit more of a natural video for you guys and I'm so excited. Let me grab my phone. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited. I am excited because y'all it is almost summertime and I'm feeling some feeling some summer magic going on even though you know things are definitely different. Okay look at this. It's 88 degrees today which means summertime. Shut the door because I have children talking out there. And I've been thinking about this idea of filling up summer looks that are practical for heat statement making that make up a, a pow statement and also at the same time very simple this is what i mean so many good outfits don't have to be complicated they don't have to involve lots of layers lots of things they can just be summed up maybe in three key pieces. It might be that the pieces themselves are a statement or it might mean the color combo that you put together is a statement. It could be just that you have a statement earring on that sends your outfit to the next level. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to style up summer outfits that are that are statement outfits but that are also simple. And you know with me simple doesn't mean simple. <laughs> it probably just means less clothing. I'm going to head into my closet. I'm just going to put on some different outfits for you guys and I'm going to show you and we're going to roll with this. However that plays out today in my house, a kid might show up. I don't know, but we're just going to do that. Also, I just want to make a note about a few things. When it comes to great simple outfits, but that are also statement making, I think there's a few key elements to that for me at least. And that is statement hair. You guys see this has been one of my go-to hair looks lately. I love to just do this really slick pony detail with a braid. There's a few reasons I love it. One, it's so easy. I just wash my hair. I don't even blow dry it. I put it wet into this braid and I'm good to go. The fun thing is I take it out and then I have really great waves. I can ride that wave for a few days. The other thing I think that of course makes a great statement you guys know I'm obsessed with is my lip combo. I think having great lips, I don't even think I feel done or ready during the day unless I have my lips on. So you guys know, this is probably my go-to combination. This is Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic combined with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat Lip Liners. And this one is called Love Trap. I'll link them below. Great lip, great hair, we're ready to go. <laughs> This outfit took like five minutes to put together. I'm just gonna show you guys what I came up with. And we are going to go out to my atrium, which has become my favorite little spot during quarantine. This is my happy place out here. I brought my mirror out here so you guys could see my outfits in a different location. It's all about the color combinations. You guys know I'm obsessed with these earrings from Abel Shop and I love her cobalt blue. I loved the blue tied in with the vintage orange tank top and then a recent eBay find for these amazing green high waist pants that basically feel like pajamas. So I love that. And I put on my Melissa shoes I love and also the Melissa bag. So as you can see, this is all about color combinations being interesting. It's also about picking individual pieces that feel really special and unique. A summer outfit that is statement making, but super simple. Let's head back into my house, into my bedroom, and I am going to head into my closet and style up another look for you guys. You guys probably get so tired of me talking about Carrie Bradshaw, but I will say one thing that you'll notice with Carrie Bradshaw style is actually her looks are not, I mean, some of them are complicated, but a lot of them are really just that she took maybe three interesting pieces and put them together in a unique and unexpected way. We've got on the next look. I am looking for my sunglasses though, so here in the kitchen. We have some domino magic happening yeah, here. Yeah, dominoes. Quarantine life. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys my next look. We have this insanely amazing 
1970s set. This was gifted to me by a vintage shop called Jenny and the Pearl. I will link her below. I mean, hello. You don't need to do much else when you're wearing this. Other little things that I threw on, you guys have seen me do this a million times. I throw on these two shell earrings made by 27's Club. I have on my Statement Sunnies that are my favorite. These are Movement. They're the Savage shades. I will link them below. The perfect shoe for this look were these lavender and yellow mules. Again, an eBay find. And then also this vintage 1970s crochet bag. I love how this is just easy peasy. A perfect summer look, no fuss, and I'm digging it. My son is in the other room on doing a Zoom call with his teacher. Well, I am now going to go and come up with another look for you guys. It's so funny. I think because I've given myself this challenge to do this, it is so simple. It's just a matter of finding really great things in your closet and putting them together and not overthinking it. Grabbing and going, grabbing and going. I'm gonna grab this skirt here. I haven't styled up look with this, but it's such a statement. I feel like I can come up with something really great. To get inside my styling mind, I am noticing the purple fleck here. And so I'm gonna think I'm gonna work off the purple in the skirt. Here we go, another look. I pulled this skirt and I noticed the little purple fleck in it and I thought of this purple tube top that I have. I loved all of the brush strokes and the colors feel very primary and in a way artistic. And so I then chose another April Shop earring. This is her black little mini ones. For the shoes, I went with that same idea of a pop. These are Simon Miller. I got on sample sale. I love the contrasting black and white, which show off the black and white in the skirt. Also with the 90 degree weather, I am thankful to not have tons of layers on. What should I do next? I need to find a really great statement piece. The funny thing is that my whole closet is honestly just a bunch of statement pieces. I really don't have many things that are simple. I'm gonna pull out these khaki pants. I got these at Crossroads. I'll show you. They're very cool and I haven't worn them or styled them I don't think so I'm gonna give these a try. This one may be one of my favorites. It's all about the color palette and that color palette being all neutrals. These were the pants I pulled out. These are actually I am Gia. I love the shape of these. They're so fun how they bunch at the bottom and they go super high waist. Very safari inspired adding this really great knit in the same color palette. This is also a crossroads find. And then it was about just adding more of the same idea. So big brown hoops, brown belt with gold accents, then brown and tan mule sandals. Feels so chic and fabulous. I am digging this. And this is just another example of you don't have to throw on a million things to have a really great chic outfit. Oh my goodness, I wanna wear this. Where should we go? This is summer in the city. How perfect. Such a summer in the city look. Oh, don't really wanna take this one off but I'm gonna style up another one. So now it's a matter of finding another piece to work with. I think we should do a dress. I haven't done the dress yet. And a dress is always a great statement, no matter what. Let me find the perfect dress. I found the perfect one. This is such a good one. Okay, let's style this one up. Let's also put on some tunes. Bum, 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 bum. You always gotta have music on when you get dressed. You know it's a good outfit when these samples are on. Shabam, here we go. Ugh, this dress, it's like a picnic blanket made into a dress. Another Crossroads find, this is actually Urban Renewal. This is a great DIY if you're a crafty person, which I'm not, but this could be a fun thing to make. Got the crazy great dress. It's just like you walk around and people are like, what are you wearing? I love it, I want it, yep. That's right. And I wish I was the girl that could just let it all hang out, but I can't. I had two babies. <laughs> and yeah. So I then paired uh, this black and white bralette that I have. It's a 1980s, like, very Madonna bralette. I threw it underneath. And I actually like 
the contrasting black and white teasing the black and white in the front and then I even like the crisscrossiness of it in the back another time that I'm wearing the able shop earrings and party shoes galore I have on my Melissa hiker sandals in the ridiculously fun colors they make me so happy ah this is a blast this is a picnic waiting to happen a pool party any type of summer function Hurrah. I feel like I get sillier and sillier as the video goes on. I think I just get a little more crazy. Should I do another outfit? I've done, I think, five now. I don't know. I feel like, why not? This is so fun. I should do a denim look. I forget to do denim all the time, you guys. I'm sorry. I forget about it. But I'm going to go over there and pick out my denim. Digging it. Ready to show you guys. This is all about the summer party. Maybe the dinner party, the cocktail party, the date night, something fabulous during the summer, but casual. All right, here we go. I said I wanted to do denim, so I pulled out my favorite black high-waist vintage denim. And then this is a bathing suit. I love the design that's going on here. It feels very early 90s. I'm even thinking a little bit Drew Barrymore. Winona Ryder, those classic 90s icons. We've got a really great open back, and then I picked out all of my favorite accessories. My coin belt, always 100. I chose these fun door knocker earrings. I don't wear these as often. Hello, gold, gaudy goodness right there on your ears. My movement, these are the highball. So earlier I wore the Savage. These are the highball, my two go-tos. And I popped on a little bit more of a red lip. I'll link this one below. This is called Stoned Rose from Charlotte Tilbury. And then also the lip liner is called, I can't think of it, but I'll put it down below as well. Again, pulled out my Simon Miller white little sandal slides. Perfect summer party look. Ready for a good time, ready to hang out with some friends or just have a little atrium get together with you and your people the people that you're in your home with and then you can just jump in the pool just take your pants off and jump in the pool if you wear a bathing suit the day is starting to come to an end i gotta get dinner ready for my family but i feel like i could do one more outfit i think i should do one more i'm gonna do one more i feel like i need to do something like really amazing let me dive in here and see what i can come up with did come up with something really fun this look is all about going to more of a fabulous summer soiree. Ma, I, I, whenever I do stuff like this, I realize how much I love dressing like this. It reminds me of Catherine Baba, and I used to be so inspired by her. I actually went through this whole phase where I feel like I styled up a bunch of Catherine Baba style outfits, and whenever I come back to it, I remember how much I love it. So it's the statement of this unitard. This is from American Apparel years ago, I don't even know. And then y'all know I love my robes. So this is this great, what is this, chartreuse robe, silky robe, old Victoria's Secret. I threw on a few belts, I tucked the robe up in it, put on big old hoop earrings. My go-to fancy shoes, these here. And this would just be so fun for a summer soiree. I even feel like you could wear this to a wedding, maybe more of a casual wedding. And it's basically pajamas, so you can also wear it at home this summer. This is actually very simple. There's not much here, but it's all about how you zhuzh and play with it to create all the craziness. I just pulled up the robe and tucked it in one of the belts to give it this drape effect. That way you're not swallowed up by the robe and you really do look like you're intentionally wearing a look that is not a bathrobe. This is it. How to style summer looks and keep it simple and keep it statement. I think I've done it. Seven outfits, I feel like that was pretty good. It was so much fun to do this. Thanks for rolling with me on just things being a little bit less stylized and a little bit more raw and real and that's just kind of how things are here right now my whole house i'm currently looking at it is a disaster just the thought of making everything perfect in there just didn't seem possible today so i just made it happen like this and honestly i've had fun doing it this way i feel like this feels very much like the real getting ready process 
with music on in your room, putting it together, looking in the mirror, seeing it all comes out. I hope this inspired you to just play around in your closet and really approaching summer style with this idea that it doesn't have to be complicated. Keep it simple, but choosing pieces that are all a story in themselves and then the way that you put it together creates the glorious wonder of the perfect summer outfit. Leave your comments below. I love hearing what is your favorite outfit. Also, if there's a great little summer combination that you like to wear, please let me know. If you style up something that was inspired by this video, I love seeing that on Instagram. So tag me and let me know how it inspired you and the outfit that you put together and I will reshare it on my stories. Always feel free to do that anytime you're watching a video and if it inspires you, I love seeing it. It seriously makes my day. So let me know on Instagram that this video inspired an outfit of yours. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I would love if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm making videos every single Thursday. I'm trekking along during this quarantine and it honestly means so much if you subscribe to my channel. There's videos here every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time from my atrium. I'll see you guys next week. Always play dress up. Bye!